welcome back to the channel for a brand new creative sim. So today, you guys, we are going to be creating the Cunninghams. And I'm so excited to create this family because they are completely created out of just the base game only. So if you've recently got your manitos on the free edition of the Sims for base game from Origin, then you can happily head on over to the gallery at Gen 2606 and download this familia and enjoy them today. So I didn't know, like, right off the bat what type of family I wanted to create. I had no idea at all whatsoever what their background was going to be like until I started actually creating the sims um, firsthand and to be honest I love the way that they turned out I think they are such a quirky and interesting family and I know without a shadow of a doubt you guys are gonna have so much fun freaking playing them so I recently did create a five bedroom house that is again completely base game I've been on kind of like this BG kick because of the free release but um, they weren't necessarily created with that house in mind. However, they completely fit perfectly if you wanted to go into that house and actually switch it up a little bit um, and change it to more of like their color palette. Meaning like I think one of the rooms is for a like older female sim. Like I envisioned like a grandma. You could easily change that for Lawrence. He's the grandfather in this equation. He is so freaking funny. I can't wait to show you guys Lawrence because he's probably my favorite out of all these sims. Um, but yeah, so you could kind of change up the color palette for that. And then I also created like a girl's room, uh, but the girl is idealistically probably a little bit younger than Eleanor is. So, I mean, there are definitely are a few things that you would have to tweak, but if you wanted uh, to have a house for them, there is one on the gallery, BG friendly at Gen 26062. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump straight on in to the backstory because you know, with a big family like this, I had to give you all the details. The Cunninghams are your typical Willow Creek dwelling family. Rashawn and his wife Georgia reside in 236 Willow Lane with their three kids and quirky father-in-law Lawrence. Sure, it's hard at times, especially for Georgia who isn't exactly her father-in-law's biggest fan. She absolutely hates when he walks around in his kissy boxers and lounges out by the pool in nothing but a speedo. But Lawrence is old as his grandkids continuously point out, so he figures like the young kids say, YOLO. He's earned it. Rashawn is an honest man who loves to spend time with the family. He works as a freelancer part-time and is being home with his tribe is more than he could ever ask for. Georgia is an art appraiser. She has quite the talent and eye to spot, to spot out a masterpiece a mile away. I mean, that's why she married Rashawn, of course. Rawr. Eleanor is the oldest of the Cunningham kids. She's a goofy, free-spirited teen and like her mother, she loves loves art. In fact, it seems as if she is following in her mother's footsteps. Now, for the Cunningham twins, the youngest of the family at the moment. Darren is a shy introvert that has a hunger for knowledge. He loves goofing around on his dad's computer and playing around with the neighbor's Wi-Fi settings. Maybe one day he can take that knack for computers and turn it into a job when he gets older. Darius is really the youngest, if you want to get technical, by like 15 minutes. He is a ve he's very different in comparison to his twin brother. Oh, and he lets him know. Darius is quite mean spirited and always picking on his brother and teasing him for his innocence, constantly calling him childish and making Darren feel terrible about himself. This is the Cullingham family, full of possibilities, triumphs, and failures. It's up to you to pick which path they choose. So I hope you guys enjoyed that backstory. It was quite elaborate and also extremely cheesy, but you know what? I honestly had so much fun writing that up. I was hooked on every word, and I feel like it really reflects how I envisioned the family to be in my head as I was creating them. So you already saw Grandpa Lawrence. Let me go and just kind of like dive in a little bit deeper to his personality. He is the kind of grandpa that honestly he thinks like that he's lived so long He's lived since the dinosaurs were born like at this point who cares? He's old. He has no one to apologize to he has nothing to prove anymore His days are limited as he constantly reminds everyone So why not go ahead and you know sit by the pool enjoy a nice little dim and gusty in my freaking a cheetah print like leopard leotard like who 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 is to tell me otherwise you know what I mean? Um, and even though there is a little a little friction uh, between Georgia and her father-in-law, I do genuinely believe there's nothing but love. But I am kind of curious to 
to see if you guys are going to make it a conflict between her and her husband later on. Maybe Georgia is just fed up with <laughs> with his nudistness. I don't know. Is it nudistness or like nudity? I, I don't really know. But either way, you know what? I kind of envision Georgia to be like slightly conservative, especially when it comes around like her children and stuff. So I don't know. I don't really know. But I do feel like, you know, Lawrence and 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 Georgia have nothing but love for each other and also he's really funny like he is a super hilarious freaking grandpa like he has all of the fun stories like he's the one you go to when you want to hear about the olden days um, and this is Ellie aka Eleanor I really like her a lot now it's kind of hard for me to kind of capture her essence I kind of feel like Ellie is just her own person like she like 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 the description says she is really funny she takes off after her grandfather that way um, she was always cracking jokes and making light uh, of certain situations even situations she shouldn't be making light for it really makes it hard to be honest to like punish her or or make her you know in trouble or ground her um for anything because she always sees the silver lining and i feel like she is who she is and unapologetically so um again very much like her grandfather but she also definitely has a lot of her mother in her and her father's stubbornness like it's literally her way or the highway um she kind of has a hard time seeing I guess like other people's perspectives but at the end of the day she's a really just like humble down-to-earth individual and I love how she kind of goes between this more like girly vibe and this more like casual vibe like that's just her she, she'll dress however she wants at any given moment she really doesn't care like if she wants to go out in sweatpants and a hoodie she will if she wants to wear a cute little skirt some nice tights and beautiful boots she will like it doesn't matter it's literally life by her terms now the twins are interesting I was like stressing at this point right I had already invested like an hour <laughs> into this creative sim and I am so picky like these sims all have to complement each other otherwise we are going back and we are fixing it until they do I'm talking names I'm talking faces I'm talking personalities even down to the clothing styles they all have to complement each other they all have to blend they all have to fit otherwise it's not it's not a family it's not gonna work so here is my dear Darren Darren is seriously so freaking cute I love that he is a little brainiac in the making the fact that he is on the computer literally hacking okay but dad says you know playing with Wi-Fi settings because you know whatever or grandpa says that because you know he, he don't know okay he still reads the freaking newspaper all right like actually no he's pissed at ea for discontinuing his newspaper like what is this hogwash but anyways um yeah darren he's really cute he's super duper innocent he's very childish he loves to play with toys he he doesn't want to grow up he's in no hurry to grow up but he definitely feels the pressure to do so by his brother darius who is definitely a little mischievous um i'm very curious to see what he grows up to be like because at this point i genuinely I don't know. I don't know. He's he's interesting. And I don't know why he acts the way that he does. But um, I'm curious to see how you guys kind of make sense of his personality and his reason for basically picking on his little brother or bigger brother in this case, Darren. So anyways, guys, this is the end of the creative sim. Let me know in the comments down below who is your favorite Cunningham. Uh, what do you guys think about this family? What kind of families would you like to see in the future? And if you're going to be downloading them for the gallery and if you are, Make sure that you leave me a comment on the gallery, favorite them. It really does help. I love reading through um, and seeing all of your comments. It really does brighten up my day. So with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this creative sim here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun it doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Cover your eyes, this one's for you.